Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 240 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This one is so beautiful. It is called Mulberry Bush 12 by 12, which it is a 12 by 12 inch pattern uh, square, but we are stopping early to make a seven inch square. And the directions uh, that Donna has uh, written out for us and designed for us, uh, we can stop at a certain round to make it a smaller square. So that's what we're doing today, but I highly encourage you to make yours bigger. Go on to reading her written pattern and making yours bigger. Uh, but in today's square, we are using a lot of double crocheting. We're doing uh, single crochet and half double crochet as well, and it's a really nice pattern. And I changed color very often. Almost every single round I changed color. Uh, so you can see I'm using just Red Heart Super Saver yarns. This is just a 10-ply worsted weight, size 4 medium yarn. You can use any worsted weight or double knitting yarn if you have that available, any scraps that you've got. Obviously they're just a small amount, so you can see that there. Um, also I'm going to be demonstrating this in an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters, so make sure you have that handy, as well as a yarn needle and a scissors because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends, and these tools just come in handy when we change color so often. Also. Uh, before we start, I want to mention, uh, first off, thank you for all the well wishes, and um, I'm, you know, with me being in the hospital, we have to do a makeshift studio here uh, in my hospital bed, and my dad's uh, still filming for us uh, with a different camera, which is really, really nice, so big props to dad for doing that for us. Also, um, the, there's, there's links in the description of this video, so check out the link to my Facebook and Instagram. Follow me on both places and share your photos. I want to see your photos. Yesterday's square, the photos of those were just fabulous. So thank you for sharing all your wonderful creativity and work yesterday and every day. So make sure you share your photo in the comment section of today's post on Facebook. And then on Instagram, make sure you hashtag 365 Days of Granny Squares and hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your square as well over there. And then also um, check out in the corner of this video, way over in that corner, um, there's an I. You can click that and uh, support us in any way you can so that we can keep bringing you crochet tutorials and I'm sure I'll be out of here soon and we can get back in the studio and have um, a regular tutorial on the background but right now I'm in my hospital bed so <laughs> we'll get to it uh, tomorrow but anyway um, going on to the next thing I have to say a big thank you to my dad Fuad Osman, for taking the time to make these videos with us he's our videographer editor and photographer for all of our videos so make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can get that update on when we post our next video so let's get started and make number 240 granny square let's start out by making a slip knot so put your short end over your long end then fold that down and pull it through and pull tight insert your hook and we can start so let's start out by chaining four so yarn over and pull through one yarn over pull through two three and four and now we're going to come all the way to the beginning chain over here and make a slip stitch to form a ring so go into the first chain yarn over pull through and pull through that loop on your hook so now we've created a ring if you know how to start with a magic ring you can start that way as well but now going on to round one i'm going to chain up three so yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and three and that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round now we have to put 11 double crochets into this ring here so yarn over go into the ring yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay that is a double crochet so again, yarn over, go back into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. So that was two, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That's three, this is four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 and 11. Okay, so we put 11 double crochets into this ring. You can see I was working in a circular form, kind of turning this with the stitches. And then I also worked over the top of this straggler um, as well. So if you need to, count back 12 stitches because this chain of three counts as a stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 should bring you to this chain of three. We're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain of three. So go in just like that, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, and that was round one. Going on to round two, if you're not changing color, just chain up six and go on to round two with me. But I am going to uh, chain one here and cut my yarn, pull that through, pull tight. I'm going to, if you're changing color, you can start in any stitch around. I'm just gonna start right in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And I'm gonna pick up a different color hook that on the hook and pull it through. Okay, and now we want to chain up six. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to skip this next stitch right here. And we're going to single crochet into this next stitch here. So go into the next stitch, or actually skip this stitch go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, and we're just going to repeat that around. So chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, skip the next stitch right here, and go into this next stitch here for a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, and we're just going to repeat. So chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, skip a stitch, and single crochet in the next. So do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round three. When you're finished with round two and you need to make one more uh, chain six space, we're going to actually only chain three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And then we're going to double crochet. We're gonna skip this last stitch here. And we're going to double crochet in the first chain of our beginning chain six. So yarn over, go into this first chain down here, okay? Go into there, oops, there we go. And then yarn over and pull through that. Then yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. So we, the reason we did that was so that we ended in the middle of this chain space here, okay? So now we're at the top of that. And now we can go on to round three. So what we're going to do, uh, if you wanted to, you could have fastened off, you could have just chained six and slip stitched to that and then fastened off your color and start in any chain six space for round three. But since I did this chain three and double crochet into that first chain, we're at the middle of this one now. And now we are going to chain up three. So yarn over and pull through one, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet of this round. In the same space, we're going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, and this is two, just like that. Then we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're gonna hop to the next chain six space right here and put five double crochets in there. So. You know how to do double crochets. We did double crochets in round one. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and put five double crochets into the next space. And then we're gonna chain two and put five double crochets in the next space and just repeat that until you get to the end and I'll show you how to end this round and we'll go on to round four. When you're finishing round three, you just want to chain two, and we're coming back to the beginning space here. It only looks like there's three double crochets in here because this chain of three counts as a stitch and then there's two double crochets. So in each chain space, there should be five stitches. So we just have to put two more double crochet into that beginning space here. So one and two. And then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning chain up three here. One, two, three, right in here, just go in 
yarn over, pull through, and pull through. All right, going on to round four. If you're not changing color, just chain up five and go on to round four with me. But I'm gonna chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. If you're changing color, start in any middle double crochet of a five double crochet grouping. So I'm just gonna start where we fastened off because that's the middle stitch right there. So I'm just gonna go in, grab a different color, if I can find it, there we go. And then hook that on my hook and pull it through, just like that. And then we're gonna chain up five. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four and five. And what that counts as is the first three chains count as our double crochet and the next two chains count as our chain two corners or um, not corner but our V stitch actually our chain two of the V stitch space. So now we're going to put a double crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over, go into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. So there's our V stitch. Now we're going to chain two, one and two. And in this chain space right here, this chain two space, we're going to put a V stitch. So the V stitches are a double crochet in there, then chain two, and then another double crochet in that same space. And that's a V stitch. Then we want to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip these next two stitches here and go into the middle stitch of this five double crochet grouping and we're going to put a V stitch in that stitch. So double crochet, then chain two, and then a double crochet in that same stitch, just like that. Then we're just going to repeat what we did. So chain two, put a V stitch in the chain space right here. So double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet in there then chain two and go into the middle double crochet of this five double crochet grouping here, or you can just skip two stitches and work your V stitch in the next stitch there, which is a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. All right, and we're just gonna work that all the way around. So chain two, put your V stitch in the chain two space, then chain two and put a V stitch in the middle double crochet of the five double crochet grouping. And then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round five. All right, I'm just finishing my last V stitch here. And then we have to chain two and slip stitch to the beginning chain up three right here. One, two, three, the third chain, I guess, of our chain of five. So third chain right in here, go in, then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Pull tight. Now, if you are not changing color, slip stitch into this V stitch chain two space, and then uh, chain up three and go on to round five with me. But I'm actually gonna chain one here and cut this yarn and pull it through, pull it tight. And now if you're changing color, you can start in any V stitch that's in a double crochet. So I'm just gonna start right in here and hook on my new color, pull it through, and then chain up three. So yarn over and pull through, one, oops, two, and three. Okay, just like that. Then in the same space, we're going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go back into the same uh, V stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again, another double crochet. So now it looks like there are three double crochets in there because that chain of three counts as a stitch. Now we're going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through, and then we're gonna double crochet into the next chain space, which is right here. So yarn over, go into this chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna put three double crochets into the V-stitch here. So put three double crochets in there, one, two, and three. Okay, then we're gonna chain one and we're going to double crochet into this chain two space here between the V stitches. So just one double crochet in there. 
then we're going to chain one and then we're going to put three double crochets into this V stitch and we're just going to repeat that all the way around okay so after the three double crochets here we're going to chain one put a double crochet into this next chain space then chain one put three double crochets in this V stitch then chain one and put a double crochet in the next chain space and then chain one and make your three double crochets into the next V stitch okay if you need to follow along with the written pattern uh, if you get a little too confused with that where the stitches need to go otherwise I'll just meet you up and we'll go on to round six Okay, when you're finishing uh, round five here, we're going to slip stitch into the beginning chain up three here. So don't forget to chain one and then slip stitch to the beginning chain up three, one, two, three, right in here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. So if you're changing color, uh, just follow along with me, but if you're not changing color, slip stitch into this next stitch, which is the middle double crochet of this three double crochet grouping. So slip stitch in there and then chain up eight and go on to round six. But I'm actually going to change color. So I'm going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. I'm going to grab my new color. And now we want to start, if you're changing color, start in any middle double crochet of any three double crochet grouping. So I'm just going to start in this one right after the stitch that we fastened off in. So I'm going to go right into this middle one here, hook on my new color, and pull it through. And then chain up eight. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to put another or a double crochet into that same space there. So yarn over once, go back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so there's our corner of our square. Now we're going to chain three, so yarn over and pull through, one, two, three. And then we're going to skip this next stitch and skip over this chain one space and we're going to double crochet into this next stitch so yarn over go into this double crochet yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two then we're going to chain three one two three we're going to skip over this chain one space and we're going to skip over this first stitch and in this middle double crochet right here we're actually going to put a single crochet in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, just like that. Then we're gonna chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna skip this next stitch and this chain one space, and we're going to single crochet into this double crochet right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip this chain one space and this next stitch, and then we're going to put a single crochet into this next stitch right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then we need to chain three, one, two, three, skip the next stitch and this chain one space, and we're going to double crochet into this next double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we need to chain three, one, two, three, skip this chain one space and this next stitch right here. And in this middle double crochet, now we're gonna make our corner, which is a double crochet. Then chain five, one, two, three, four and five and put another double crochet into that same stitch just like that and there's our corner then we're going to repeat what we did so chain three one two and three we're going to skip over this double crochet and this chain one space and make a double crochet into uh, this next stitch here so yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then chain three and then single crochet into this center stitch right here 
Okay, then chain three. And we're going to single crochet into this double crochet right here. Then chain three. And we're going to single crochet into the middle stitch right here. Then chain three. And then we're going to put a double crochet into this stitch right here. And now we're going to chain three. And in the middle double crochet right here is our next corner. So we're going to put a double crochet, then chain five, and then put another double crochet in there. Okay, and then just repeat. So on this side, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, put a double crochet in this double crochet here, and then chain three, put a single crochet into the middle double crochet right here, then chain three, put a single crochet into this next double crochet, the solo double crochet right here, then chain three, put a single crochet in the middle double crochet of this grouping right here, then chain three, and put a double crochet into this next double crochet right here. Then chain three. And now this next uh, stitch in the middle here gets our corner. So that's a double crochet. Then chain three, or I'm sorry, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then another double crochet in there. And now we're working our last side here. Chain three. Work a double crochet into this stitch right here. Then chain three. Put a single crochet into the middle double crochet right here. Then chain three. Put a single crochet into this double crochet here. Then chain three. Put a single crochet in the middle double crochet here. And then chain three and put a double crochet into this double crochet right here. All right, now finishing this round, we are going to chain three, and then slip stitch to the third chain of your beginning chain eight. So one, two, three, right in here. Go into the third chain, then yarn over, pull through, and through. All right, now we are going to well, this is what your square should look like right now. We're going to do one more round. If you want to, um, we are going to, let's see, slip stitch to the center of the chain space. So we're going to start in a corner uh, this next round. So if you're not changing color, you can uh, follow along with me. Otherwise, if you are changing color, just fasten off and start in any corner here. I'm going to slip stitch into this corner. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain up two one and two, and that counts as our first half double crochet of this round. And now in the same space, I'm going to put two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into this chain space, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a half double crochet. So again, another one in there, just like that. Then we're going to, let's see here, three half double crochets in each let me see, chain three. Okay, so we're gonna chain three, sorry, one, two, three, and put three more half double crochets into the corner. So one, two, and three, just like that. Then in each of the next two uh, chain three spaces, we're going to put three uh, half double crochets in each one of these. So three half double crochets in here, one, two and three, then skip over this double crochet here and put three half double crochets in here. One, two, and three. Okay, then we're gonna put three single crochets into each of the next two chain three spaces. So in here, we're just putting three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And this next space two gets three single crochets. Then the next two chain spaces here and here get three half double crochets each. 
So half double crochet is yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now we put three of them in there, and then three of them in this next one too, right before the corner. So one, two, and three. And now we're at the corner here, we're going to put three half double crochets, one, two, and three, then chain three, one, two, three, and then three more half double crochets in the corner. So one, two, and three. And then we're just going to repeat what we did on this side for this side and each side around. So I'll show you that again. We're going to half double crochet into these next two spaces here. We're going to put three half double crochets in this space, then three half double crochets in the next space. One, two, and three. Then three single crochets into this next space. One, two, three. And then three single crochets in this next space. One, two, three, then three half double crochets in the next space, one, two, three, and then three half double crochets in this next space right before the corner. So one, two, and three. And now in the corner, chain five space, we're going to put three half double crochets, chain three, and three half double crochets. Okay, and just repeat that all the way around if you need to follow along with the written pattern, otherwise I'll meet you up when I'm about to fasten off. All right, when you're finished with this round, you want to slip stitch to the beginning, chain up two right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. And at this point, you can decide if you want to go on to rounds eight through 12 to finish uh, this pattern, uh, because it is a 12 inch square. But I'm ending on this round here uh, to have the, just the seven inch uh, square. So I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn and fasten off. So pull that all the way through, pull tight, grab the yarn needle, and sew in that end. And there you have it. Number 240 Granny Square is complete. Thank you so much to Donna for allowing us to use this pattern in our project and uh, for writing such an easy pattern to read. Uh, make sure you're checking out those links in the description of this video, link to the written pattern, link to my blog, link to Facebook and Instagram. Share your photos, I absolutely wanna see them. But there it is, how pretty. You may need to block this square, but it turned out so fabulously. I absolutely love it. So thanks again for watching everyone. I'm definitely feeling better. So thank you for all the well wishes. I will see you tomorrow. Happy hooking.